I'm honored to stand here today with dedicated colleagues from within the Department of Justice as well as beyond it to announce a historic settlement with Pfizer Incorporated. In a combination civil and criminal settlement, Pfizer has agreed to pay $2.3 billion, the largest health care fraud settlement in the history of the Department of Justice. What it says is that they have made a decision that money in their pockets is more important than public health. FDA has issued an alert to health professionals on emerging safety concerns about the antibiotic Zyvox. The study showed that patients on Zyvox had a higher chance of death than with any of the other drugs. In the case of Zyvox, which is a very heavy duty antibiotic, they were given a warning letter, which is the most serious thing the FDA can do. They ignored that. This is true of all these drugs that are involved in this settlement, whether it be Geodon, which is an antipsychotic, which was illegally marketed, criminally marketed, Zyvox, Lyrica, and Bextra. So that means the consumer with our health care costs, and this is one of the major reasons our health care costs have gone skyrocketing. And this is the government really coming down hard for the first, one of the first times. They get, also came down hard in the case we handled involving Zyprexa on January 31st of this year, where Eli Lilly had to pay a criminal penalty of $1.4 billion. Now, that was the biggest single drug payment of a fine in history of the government. Biggest, and we're involved in that this year too. From our firm's standpoint, this is the kind of work that lawyers should be doing. As of this date, our firm for the United States has been involved in the recovery of $3.7 billion in nine months. Now what I want to do, if it continues, I want to see to it that the CEO of these major companies, if they do it again, this time, this time, they will be behind bars.